Hey, for the past uh, few years, we've been using this uh, this monitoring system from a company called uh, Simarine or Simarine. Now, this is the Pico system, and uh, we really, really like it uh, for a number of reasons. One of them is because it's really easy to read, and we use it primarily to keep track of our our battery system, the state of charge of our batteries, and also track how much solar is coming in and how much energy we're using when we're off grid. But it's designed to actually track a lot of other things as well, based on the, the components you plug into it. And that's actually one of the big features that I like about this system, is that it's very modular. And you know it can monitor whatever you want based on the uh, components that you plug in. You know A lot of the stuff is kind of marine focused, but they also have uh, components that are uh, intended to be used by RVs and I guess caravans if you're in the uh, European uh, countries. One of those things that I got recently was this inclinometer and it's a, it's a level gauge basically to see how level your RV is when we're parked and or trying to find a spot. We're pretty level right now in an RV park and I uh, thought it'd be a great time to uh, get this uh, installed, set up and uh, see how it works. Well, before I uh, show you what's uh, inside this uh, this microwave cabinet here, why I removed it, I just wanted to, uh, to mention a couple things. One of them is I got the air conditioner running right now. I went ahead and just turned it on because it was getting pretty warm in here without the AC running. But the second thing is, uh, is related to this whole Pico monitoring system. I did a pretty complete uh, setup and installation video some time ago about this whole system. If you want more information about uh, a lot of that setup uh, detail for the system. Be sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description. All right, well here inside the microwave cabinet is where uh, everything is kind of connected to this Pico system. The main uh, thing I wanted to show you here is this, this component called the splitter. There's only one cable that's connected to the display unit and it goes right to this splitter. And from there, you know, that's where the power comes from you know the coach to power the uh, the monitor and all of the data connections go through this splitter as well to the to the various modules in the system this is actually one of the modules here you can see it's it's uh, connected right to one of these uh, one of these ports on the splitter and for this inclinometer here I'm gonna go ahead and mount it in here and connect this data cable to this other port here in the splitter. I have one uh, blank port in this splitter um, and that's where I'm going to connect the inclinometer. The cool thing about this, uh, the, the way this uh, system is networked together with all its uh, modules is that you can connect additional modules to any one of these other modules and it's just kind of daisy chained together so that they don't all just go to one uh, point here. You can uh, just have a shorter connection from another module just to a new module and it'll automatically uh, pick it up in its little network. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is just mount this little inclinometer uh, right here inside the cabinet. Uh, it's a pretty flat surface and right below here is typically where we would measure the level of the coach just using a regular <laughs> level because it's kind of centrally located right in the middle of the coach. It's got a little indicator here that says this end points to the front, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. All right, it also comes with this little uh, piece of adhesive. Now with everything connected, we should be able to see it show up on the display. 
but we have to calibrate it first. Now there is a calibration, calibrate button on the device itself. And we can press that and it'll kind of reset everything to, to level to zero. But we can also do that on the display. So to calibrate it from the display here, we just go to the inclinometer screen. Right now, I just recalibrated it using the button on the device, so it's already set to zero. But if at any point you want to reset it, you just press the up and down arrow together, and it uh, wants you to confirm by pressing this button here. And there you go, so it's just reset. Now you can also see the uh, the inclinometer measurements or the readings here on the, the Simarine uh, mobile app. You can see there's a line and everything is kind of reset now to zero or level. And one of the things that I that I saw that I haven't been able to get to work is, is to be able to change the display here. You can see it's just a line, but there are some settings that you can actually change the display to actually show a little image of a of an RV tipping or you know left to to right or front to back but I haven't been able to get that display to update but I'll I'll keep uh, working with Simmering to try to resolve that and figure out if it if it's uh, an issue with just my Android or if it only works on iOS and I'll post an update in the comments but I hope you enjoyed this update to the Pico system and uh, I'll continue to update you as I uh, learn more about it and continue to use it. And be sure to check the description for a link to the uh, to the inclinometer page on their website if you want to learn more about it. But share your comments and thoughts uh, below and I look forward to hearing what you have to say and answering any questions that come up. Take care and I will see you in the next one.